For the big man to come in here. Hey, you know, as I say to people, you know, when nothing goes right, you turn left. So I came to the Elmo Combo, and hopefully, this is the beginning. We got Mr. Kim right beside Teddy. How are ya? you? Everyone here, I'll tell you, this is gonna come back, be bigger and better, but keep the same feel for Canadian music and Canadian artists. I really like Check one, two. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have. Yeah. I, I can't believe that actually. Hey, George Savalo. Yeah. Yeah. I have to have George come here. Come on, George, come right beside me. Oh, no, 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 no. Come no, 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 yeah, so George, you grew up in this area. Here he is, the man of the hour. This mayor of Toronto, John Tory. But George Chevallo grew up in this area, the El Cabo. You know, not many people got thrown out. But definitely, he got thrown out. I'd say most people got thrown, but he definitely did, because George, whenever there's a problem with George, George just said, look at my hands. I've got the biggest hands on the planet. You wouldn't want to mess with me. And that's what he said to Muhammad Ali. That's it, quite true. <laughs> I saw Muhammad. I was, you know, like, I like to give it to him. You know, we always give it to each other. Anyway, every time we see him, so he shouts you back and forth. But, but he's a great guy. He's great to be with. And, uh, but, uh, oh, it's great. That's great. The champ, George Ball. Champ! Get the shot to the plexus. Now to introduce the man that needs no introduction. Our mayor, John Tory. Please come to the right here, John. Well, it's great. You know, first I'd like to say... I haven't been thrown out of here, by the way. <laughs> Me too. Unfortunately, yeah. well, we're the same early. time. Why don't we start tonight? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. There's a few people who pride signs who put the sign up with painstaking detail. And, you know... A shout out to, you know, Mr. Murray Goldman and the Goldman Group who helped me do a bunch of sponsorship and likes of Tweed. And I got to thank the guys at IMAX. I got to thank the guys at iHeartRadio who are a big sponsor here as well. My friends at Mogo. And there's a lot more that can continue on, Universal, etc. But I'm just going to say a few things because no one wants to hear me speak. I'm going to pass it on to John Tory, Mayor John Tory, successfully in his second term. He's a rock star of all rock stars. He, woo! And uh, he's he's created the Council of Music for Canada or for Toronto, and he's 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 going to replicate what Austin thinks they have South by Southwest. We're going to have something better, and starting with the Alma Cobb. But I love the Austin people. They got a great music vibe. But I truly believe when John Tory says, "I'm bringing music back to Toronto," we've had a hard time the last ten years losing some great venues and having some difficult people like Hughes Room. And I know I've talked to John about this or Mayor Tory about this. And you know, there's a lot of people that have their hearts out. There's a lot of hard work. So first and foremost, there's one person I want to thank, or one group I want to thank the most, is right here, everyone in front of me. The city of Toronto for being supportive. Anyone who came up to me to thank me for it. I'm a small part, this is Toronto's bar. Now I'm gonna pass it on to Mayor John Tory to say a few words, and then we're gonna do a countdown, and the line is being lit after many years of leaving. And Michael, uh, the only thing I want to say is I want to say thank you to you. Because, you know, if Mike Weckerly hadn't had the sort of determination, frankly the money, um, and, uh, and the passion for music, we wouldn't be standing here tonight. And uh, we're looking forward to getting the rest of the way there so the Elmo is going to be open again because it's such a part of the music scene in Toronto. And music is so important to Toronto. Music and culture and the arts are what attract a lot of people to come and invest and create jobs here. It's a place where our artists can get their start. Look at the people on the world stage today that are in Torontonians, the leading artists in the world. And that's because they've had uh, support from people like Michael and support uh, from people all over the city. And, that, and music is important for so many ways. If you think about it, in a city where lots of people can't communicate with each other in their own spoken language, they can all enjoy a concert together or come to the Elmo and enjoy a performer. And that brings people together. So, but most of all, I want to say thank you to you. Uh, by the way, that's a fantastic yeah. outfit you got. <laughs> I gotta get it back. You know, this is a monumental time, and again, may you have 
Bigger aspirations and politics have been great for the city, and I continue no, to see that's this. It. Just a big aspirations family. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Look up, right up. No, you're right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there.